my god my mother was like banging she was like hanging christmas decorations on the outside she's like on the outside yeah oh, wow no I'm like like hammering things hammering. to the house yes <laughs> i'm like i didn't even ask about that i'm just like can you just stop banging please like it's like oh, oh, is that so a railroad so spike so what are you doing I out just, there? i just put the last one in like you just put like the last nail in the coffin <laughs> Well, we needed a coffin. <laughs> I mean, a tree. I mean, <laughs> so weird. So is your family a uh, a Christmas story family or a Christmas vacation family? Oh, Christmas story. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. about yours? Emily's is too. I we're we're a Christmas vacation store uh, mm. family, but but Emily's family is very much Christmas story. So what? Okay, and it's weird so what, because they families tend to go into one or the other. Do they? At least America. Is that like? Families, a, is yeah. that just like a? It's like a blood test. You're either like K positive. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. So. <laughs> And, and apparently they are these people are um compatible oh certainly they're compatible yeah, yeah because i mean you know both both movies are good but it's just one, you, one tends to gravitate toward one or the other it seems and just hmm. in my experience hmm. and, I, and you you readily identified yourself as a christmas story oh yeah. family so so clearly you, we watch you it every year typically when we are decorating the christmas tree oh, so, okay um, so this has already happened and by or? we i mean michelle Right. Yeah, I'm. Usually You're just, watching it. She's decorating. Yeah. Well, as long as everybody's got their job. Well, this way, when the ornaments fall off the tree, like because of the spirits, I can say, well, "Let's see why did you <laughs> Christmas ghosts?" Yeah. So, did you? Um, I mean, do you have any other Christmas movies that you? Let's watch? see. Here. Oh, you know, I went to the Christmas Story house. I, oh, did um, you? The grand opening when they they, they, they there was the some grand opening. Some dude. I guess bought the house and then um, remodeled it so it would look like interior wise because they used the exterior for the filming of the movie oh, right, and the yard yeah. and the street and everything, but they didn't use like the interior. Thing. Right. So yeah. they had to completely like gut and rebuild the interior of this house nice. to make it look like the movie house include i mean the staircase the upstairs everything and then they brought in like all the old appliances and stuff from wow it's really cool it's really that had cool to be expensive what a what a gamble right and then would... and then they opened the museum up across the street so he bought like another house across the street <laughs> and that house is now a museum and you can see that house in the movie too um and some of the characters from the actors were there from you know from the original movie for the grand opening it was a big thing it was back in 2006 oh. in 06 um, yeah. wow and this yeah. movie was what 87 oh earlier 86? than that it wasn't it? I, I don't I, honestly I don't know I'm just kind of spitballing here you would and know I'm wondering, Christmas Vacation like, uh, well only because the other ones because I know it falls within a series of movies in uh, 83 83 okay that is earlier than I thought yeah. And then Christmas Vacation was had to have been 80, 86 or something like that. Yeah. Um, it was, yeah, great, great movie. And uh, I could watch it. It's one of those movies I could watch again and again and again. Yeah. I prefer to watch it with commercials. Oh, uh, yeah. Because, and it's hard, it's increasingly difficult to find that. Um, you have to DVR it, you, basically, and then yeah. and then lock it. And, like, don't get rid of that. And don't you, let and it ever you, go. You you're okay with it being contemporary commercials. It's not a yeah. I mean, what am I? I mean, unless well, I, I mean, I'm sure it's somewhere beta, on like YouTube Beta Max tape from <laughs> Beta, whatever. No, because I want a I want a quality movie. I just and mm-hmm. I, I, what I really like about the commercials is that it allows you to do other things. This happened with Elf the other day, which is another must see uh, Christmas movie. We mm-hmm. could watch even Michelle, which she, like she doesn't usually like to watch things again. Yeah. She she literally yesterday said to Henry, when I brought up watching Elf, she said, "I could watch that again." We just watched it like a few days ago. It's that kind of movie, and I but I prefer to watch it with commercials because mm-hmm. I need the break 
to do some work, to answer some emails, to, you know, go to the bathroom without, I don't like when the movie just keeps going, like the movies are supposed to, there's, you don't get those moments where you can put your head down and do something else. Yeah. Yeah. Or decorate and, the and tree it seems or whatever to be more you're doing welcome in that kind of situation where it's a it's a movie you watch a lot um mm-hmm. and especially christmas movies and things like that where you, where it's sort of reasonable to expect there to be other things going on like you yes. wouldn't you wouldn't welcome the christmas or the uh the commercial break necessarily while you were watching like fellowship of the ring or something well it's a long movie i mean i would well, I mean, certainly there. I'd are welcome times it maybe you... in, in an intermission, like Doctor Shav- Doctor Shivago. Why don't they do intermissions anyway? I don't know. They, they right. um, let's see. There was one. Uh, I was trying to think. We we watched a movie the other day, uh, the other day months ago now, I guess. Um, but where the intermission showed up, and uh, two thousand one has an intermission, um, which is was unexpected. It also has an overture, it, and that's another thing mm-hmm. that happened in movies uh, back in. That and like even um, like Star Trek the motion picture had an overture, um, and that's that's kind of strange to me. I mean, some of them you expect, like Fiddler on the Roof has one, but of course it does because it's a musical, and musicals have overtures and on tracks. But um, but even the movie version had it. a Fiddler on the Roof, our most unlikely side. Sorry. <laughs> In our little village of Anatevka, you might say. Great movie. What are you doing? Or on not a movie, but great. But um, musical. Um, so, what other Christmas movies? Let's see. Um, Talk about Elf. Yeah, and there's the sort of ubiquitous ones that you're kind of considered to be heinous if you don't like, um, like Love Actually. And, <gasps> I love Love Actually. See, that's what yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> What's and, wrong uh, with you? I, I like it. No, I'm, I'm not saying that I don't like it. You're I, dead I do inside. like it. I know I do enjoy it, but uh, but it's one of those things where I'm like, oh well, of course, you know, and I'm sure there are people that don't like it, but it's uh, yeah, I, I uh, it has a stammering, um, um, yeah, here we go again, uh, the guy, or we Hugh talk- Grant, <laughs> oh yeah, Hugh Grant, you don't like Hugh Grant, so who? No, I'm saying that you know it's it has a stammering, charming Hugh Grant. So what's not to love about that? Um, but uh, it's not. But these are movies. I mean, that's what's so nice about them. You don't you uh, you don't watch it for the you know, like in anticipation of the plot going in a different direction or something or <laughs> yeah, some great mystery does. being resolved. I mean, you kind of go into that movie. I mean, I think the first time you see it unaware that there's going to be this interconnectedness of characters Mm -hmm. some of them are are really well done and some of them are really like light and forced and like like really like what is the weakest of the storylines to you oh everyone like the weakest is is also like the most likable people the the weakest is the 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 porn porn stand-ins yeah i mean they're right i mean they're the best like because they're they're well it's martin freeman i mean yeah i love him and they're all they're so authentic Yes. Um, yes. And 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 just full of uh I don't know. They're they're so innocent even though in the midst of like what they're doing like they're and they're yeah. I don't know there's just this innocence to it which is sort ironic, of shy right? around each other yes. later. Yes. Like, oh, I'm so they're very it's, apologetic. It's very sweet. And, and um and I love Colin God of Sex. I I want I wanted to see more of of his adventures in the United States. <laughs> yeah, but I don't I don't yeah, well, I mean you don't really that would that would get a different rating. Um, well, probably. But. but it's the I I just feel like uh probably the weakest of all of them is that one is the is the Yeah. Is the porn star, and one. you know, for uh, other reasons too, the that they tend to get cut out of of like most versions of it. But I mean, for well, obvious because, reasons, because yeah, you some really, cases, but because it serves, it doesn't no purpose. really hurt the thing. It because, serves like you no. Said, yeah. I'm trying to think of the pur- the the only purpose it may solve may serve is linking Colin. I'm trying to think, Colin is linked to the guy. To the uh, the African American guy who is yeah, the, he's, yeah. like, he's like the well, what, producer or director the or something. African Britain guy. Um, right, <laughs> African. They don't. The black guy. Um, yeah, it, yeah. 
I, I'm not British. I don't know what the appropriate thing is. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I think black guy's fine. He may have been faking in British accent. You never know. <laughs> he may be. Probably not. Um, and uh, he's... he's <laughs> Like that, that big phony Idris Elba. <laughs> He's 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 like a director or producer or something of that of the of the whole porn thing and then um and now I've said the word porn like sixteen times and so uh, not all the word. All, all the bots crawling the oh right podcast yeah. <laughs> world again um uh he's connected I'm trying to think he's connected well he oh, was a no co- no he he's unnecessary he was a PA really. or something on that movie right. On the, on the porn film. No, I thought he was like a director or something, wasn't he? Because didn't he have like oh, yeah, headphone maybe. things on? I don't know. Um, clearly, I need to watch this again. Yeah. I'm trying to think because Colin, he actually is, he's a server at the wedding. Yeah, he's at that, that the reception. Uh, yeah. And he um, talks to, who he, is it? Well, he talks to the person who is the caterer. Right. But then he ends up talking to What's Her Face. Um, well, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. That's the other guy who talks to What's Her Face. The, there's a lot What's of linkage face? at the wedding. Yeah, yeah right? the, the wedding and the wedding reception, right and which makes sense because weddings are like that. And mm-hmm. then, um, but I'm trying to think of what that other black guy's connection, other than through. He shows up somewhere else. I, I can not remember. I'm gonna watch like this again. More now. than a year since I've so actually watched it. So it's been like it. two weeks for me. Oh. So I need to. <laughs> they clearly need to watch this again. So that's the thing. You watch these movies again and again, and it's like the back of your hand kind of thing. You know, people say like, "Oh, uh, I know, I know this is like the back of my hand." But do you really right. know the back how of your long, hand? Yeah, how long have you really looked at the back of your hand? Right. I'm, I and guarantee you, if you look high. at the back of your hand right now, you're gonna look and find something new. Oh, look at that. Yeah. You know, like okay. I mean, nothing's jumping out at me right now, but um, <laughs> I'm sure I'm Seems just pretty familiar. I'm just I'm just not paying attention. That's the thing. Like you don't really pay attention right. to it much, right? Because you take it for granted because it's it's just right there and it's there whenever you need it. Anyway, um, <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I need the back of my hand. I want to get a stamp on it. Like, when I want to get back into the, the thing. thing. <laughs> Out of back hand, you. Um. So uh, yeah, other Christmas movies. Um, there's okay. The the chin cheesy chintzy rom com is not on the top of my list of awesome genres that I enjoy. Now, I know this comes as a major shock, um, but I have to admit that the movie The Holiday yes. is actually pretty right. dang good. Right. I mean, it is like the soul. It is like the... It is like the... Uh, it is kind of like the uh, pairing with Love Actually. It's like the soul yeah, of Love Actually. Yeah, it's kind of got the same feel to it. Yeah. Um, I feel like they could operate in the same universe. Stories, yeah, right. Yeah, those people same. know some of the people from the other movie, um, mm. and and I think one of my favorite things is the relationship between um, Kate Winslet and Eli Wallach. Yes, um, the, the and, uh, composer, dude. Um, yeah, yeah. And he, it's it's so. Now here's the thing that blew my face off when I heard when I realized this. Eli Wallach, the little yeah doddering old guy mm-hmm. that goes to the that has the lifetime achievement award or whatever mm-hmm. can you hear the is, theme song in his head in your head like can you hear yes the yeah <laughs> dun, 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 dun. there's another theme song that goes with that guy that different movie yeah and it's by Ennio Morricone and it's the theme song of the good the bad and the ugly because that's the ugly no. Eli Wallach plays Tuco the ugly in The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Really? Those are the same guy. But and just it like blew 30 my years, mind. 40 years. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's been some time, yes, between the one <laughs> and the other. But, man, wow. I was like, wait, wait, wait a minute. Is he, he's who now? Really? <laughs> yes. That guy is the other guy. It's nuts. It's kind of like when you realize that Gus Fring is also bugging out from Do the Right Thing. It certainly is Tuco. <gasps> yep. How he went from and once you once you know it, you can kind of you you can be like, okay, I can see how this guy might be related to that guy. 
Wow. That this guy became that guy. That's weird. But you can see some similarities there once you know what to look for. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Yeah, he's old. Oh, he's probably, is he still, he's probably not still alive now, is he? I want to say that he di- that I, that he did die. Um, you want to say it? I don't. He did, 2014. <laughs> well, I don't want to say it. Mm-hmm. I feel like you want to say it now. <laughs> yeah, I, I oh, yeah, here's, a, here's a picture of him strung up in... Uh, Yellow. Could, hello, oh, they, <laughs> we were just talking about... <laughs> How he died, what? and you're like, "Well, he is strung up." Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, what did they do to him? Yeah, the poor old man. man. No, the good man. That's terrible. No. <laughs> did he murder somebody? What's happening? No. There? Yeah, that's the he way he got really go. mad. He did not want to wait for his oatmeal. Oh, that's terrible. His oatmeal. Um, yeah, I figure an old guy gets mad at the old. <laughs> the holiday. The oatmeal holiday's great. Yeah, um, I'm leaving yeah. off all the Disney movies on purpose. Although well, I gotta say, like uh, Muppets Christmas Jenner. Carol is one of my favorites. Oh, Muppets Christmas Carol I mean, is a staple. You you must watch that. It's an ordinance. And I could watch it again and again and oh, again. Oh man, it's like the lamp, so... not the rat. <laughs> like the like the lamp, not the rat, not the rat. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that you're watching Michael Caine. I mean, God, if there so was good. any Muppet movie, I could have just been a guy he's, hanging around the set on i think that would have been it he's so good he's, oh, he's so amazing. believable the, and, the, and, and he commits to these muppets man not every actor can do that no he he takes the whole thing very seriously i mean it's it's incredible it's it's a, really good yeah um i'm not oh, one of those people scene, who considers oh, home alone a real christmas movie yeah I don't like the Home Alone movies. I, I, it's, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I think I've got this thing in my head against Macaulay Culkin that just has never dislodged. Really, and I'm just like, I don't care much about that. I don't want to get into all that. But um, oh, what's another one? Um, I don't know. But I, I, I'm looking at a list from um, from uh, Rotten Tomatoes, and they consider While You Were Sleeping a Christmas movie. How's that? How is that a Christmas movie? Remind me while uh, you were sleeping. The, uh, uh, I don't know. It? What is that about? It's Sandra somebody Bullock. Somebody was sleeping. Sandra Bullock and somebody. Um, Sandra Bullock. I don't, I don't know. I don't even want to read anymore about this. Oh, it's got Bill there's Pullman. A, um, I'm not reading anymore about this. There's uh, another one. Um, this. You know that that kind of, I mean, Lifetime has turned this into a, what the? like a, a friggin' scientific formula but there's a the you know sort of upper class uh woman from the city comes to the rural place and everybody hates her at first and then something happens and then everybody loves her um there's one (laughs) every movie ever made yeah practically and uh there's one of those and i think it's christmasy and I want to say it has um, Reese Witherspoon, and it's not Sweet Home Alabama. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I have no I've been idea. In relationships before, but um, this one has um, um, oh, the guy that played J. Jonah Jameson. Why oh, can't I think of his name? He's in the uh, Farmers commercials. Um, J. Oh, K. Simmons. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, like it has J.K. Simmons in it as a, uh, as, and it's in like the Midwest, and the whole thing is like the movie itself is a, you know, pretty much a vapid mess. But just the bits with him in it are absolutely wonderful because he is one of the funniest people ever, and uh, and uh, and I that I mean that that whole tirade I just went on is completely useless because I can't think of the name of the movie at I was all. getting ready to say, like, are you going to give us the name? <laughs> and she closed You're the factory the- <laughs> or whatever, you know, she was the, someone from corporate and came and closed down the factory and then figured out a way to keep it open and everybody loved her. But the J.K. Simmons stuff was really, really funny because he's awesome. Um, I mean, there's the cartoons from television that are good. I don't know if I, I mean, 
count those or not. The Rudolph and Frosty. And yeah, I don't know. I mean, because they're like what Kringle. twenty minutes long, but but the uh, the the uh, Charlie Brown Christmas is it's always pretty been. good. That's a little boring. Oh, I love man, the I love the music. It's way too too. The classic, music's great. You know? It's class. It's yeah. classic, and I watch it. I watch it because it's it's like there's that nostalgia thing. But I guarantee you, my kids have no. There's nothing about that that resonates for them, at all. Yeah. Whereas like Rudolph or something like that, they that's always going to be something they're interested in watching. Mm. Um, but uh, I find that any of the ones where you got the classic Christmas one, and there's always like one that came out later. There's a there's like a second Charlie Brown bound Christmas special that came out later. It's like it's friggin' Christmas Charlie Brown or something like that, and and they're ne- they're never good. Mm-mm. Like I don't even like the there's a oh there's like the Frosty Muppets. with uh, the Frosty returns with John Goodman, right? <laughs> and like you're like terrible. thanks, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why? Why in the world? Who said there's not enough Frosty in my life? You know, because they're gonna watch the original. Why do there does there need to be another one on top of it? And um, yeah, there's another. There's actually another Muppets one, um, and I don't remember Carol? what it is. No, not not like Christmas Carol. Like they, <laughs> like the next day when Scrooge wakes up and he papers, realizes, like, bah, you know what? Uh, there's another Dickens novel by the by the Muppets. Um, although I wouldn't mind that. That would be kind of fun. But um, um, oh, what am I saying? But yeah, it's just it's not. It's not as good because it's not it's not the classic. How do you, how do you feel thing. about the Grinch? Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. Yeah, me I, either. I, um, me either. I like don't think I we guess, need to talk more about. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like the original one with Boris Karloff. Um, I. Yeah, that's what I'm I like. About, that uh, you know, okay. Sixty-seven. Um, I can, I can take it or leave it. Really, what I don't think we needed was a movie. No, of course not. But like, I mean, we've I'm taken about the original a, show, the original, right? Yeah, made, yeah, made for. But television. that's kind of my point. It started out as a book that has a word count of like thirty-five, and we've turned it into <laughs> a half an hour special, and then we turned it into an hour and a half movie. Mm-hmm. And it's like I think we're stretching old Dr. Seuss a little thin there, um, but uh, you know, every now and then, okay. You know, I'll let's do a Grinch, but uh, one viewing of Grinch will get me through about five Christmases. That's, that's, that's I can't the tell you half the last life time of a I actually of a can't tell you the last time I saw it. I'm not entirely sure when the last. So time I here's saw it here's here. this one may be controversial, but um, it's Uh-oh. certainly one of my favorites, if not my favorite Christmas oh. movie. It's a Wonderful Life. Well, I don't know that that's that controversial. Some people I, hate it. Really? Yeah. I've never heard of anybody hating it. Yeah, some people. Um, people apparently, you keep good company. I uh, well, apparently, I don't. I don't hang around with these George yeah. Bailey hating communists or whatever. Like the uh, Mr. But, Potter's uh, Potter Potter. Yeah, like Mr. Potter. Mm-hmm. German Potter. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's one that I. That's one I haven't seen in ages. Oh, I need to go back and watch that. it again. Yeah. 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 You should watch it. I do it. need to go back and watch it. It's a great it movie. We've been trying to do a lot of like classic, not Christmas movies necessarily, but but going back and watching. And for me, rewatching in a lot of cases, but some of them, like I never saw, I mean, we're way off the topic of Christmas at this point. <laughs> Hopefully, if anybody calls this a Christmas movie, that's interesting. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Um, like I had never seen that. Um, I had read the play at one point, um, but uh, um, we've gone back and, and gone through like, I want to say it's um, like iTunes has the essentials uh, genre and there's a lot of these kinds of movies on there. And we watch like Casablanca and uh, Citizen Kane and things like that. And these are, and I kind of expressed this um, a while back when we were talking about stuff. Uh, Steamboat Willie but <laughs> these are sh- shockingly um, good I mean they, they hold up um, even for movies from a period of time when real life acting wasn't really the style <laughs> like Singing in the Rain 
singing in the rain. We've and we've talked about that on this show because I remember you making fun of me for it. And uh, I, I, I but it's really of, it wasn't that I was making fun of good. you for it. Is that you didn't really know that it was something you should appreciate until you saw it on the great movie ride. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> so for all the things that you, I mean, you know about things. There's well, yeah, it's well. I try to keep in mind that the first time I read the Great Movie Ride was, you know, I was what you were still 16? pretty old. Yeah, you should have known about <laughs> about singing, singing in the, the rain. rain. Yes, I don't know that sixteen-year-olds and singing in the rain. I don't know that that Venn diagram yeah, has a lot of overlap. I feel like you should have known. But the point is, is that even regardless of the and and that's a comedy, so that's even more kind of wow. It's actually still funny. I'm not suggesting um, you should have watched it by then. I'm just su- suggesting that it should have like made its way. I knew, into the like pop I said, I knew of its of existence. Brand. I didn't mm-hmm. realize it was like a big deal. Yeah, you didn't know I mean, about the know. scene with the guy like on the like I'm singing in the rain like. Dancing well, yeah, around. because that's the song from the movie, right? Yes, I mean, if anybody knows you know, a song right? from the movie, it's gonna that's be that's all that you one. get on the ride. Right, but that was like, wow, that that movie, is, you know, has got a spot on this ride, you know, <laughs> alongside awesome movies like Alien. So clearly, I hope someone creates stuff. the internet so I can look it up later. <laughs> Wouldn't it be neat? I'm going to hop on Prodigy, a yeah. worldwide, I don't know, network of computers. But um, but yeah, I mean, just going back and looking at these these classical things, and so yeah, I, uh, it really is a. a you know, time for me to revisit uh, uh, It's a Wonderful Life. It seems like there was another one kind of like that that's very Christmassy. Oh, uh, Miracle on 34th Street. Uh, oh, what, you, what is your opinion of that? I like it. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. It's not a must-see every year kind of movie, but mm-hmm. if it's on, I'll watch it. It's good. Yeah. I like the messaging. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a good It's one. all about the spirit of Christmas. You know, it's not... And that all came from that one... That one uh, letter, right? The yes, Virginia, there's a Santa Claus. Was that the ori- origin of that movie? I, I, I don't Seems know. Seems like it was. I don't know. I don't Maybe know. I'm talking out of my butt here. I don't know. Citation needed. <laughs> Just watch the movie. I don't like. <laughs> no, it's in. Is it in the movie? It's in the movie, right? That's another one I haven't watched in ages. And then they redid it, and it's like, why? <laughs> oh, they did. They did. Yeah, no, some people like the remake. No, some people really like the remake. Who was Santa in that one? I don't know. It wasn't me. Was um, somebody weird like Brian Jacoby or something. <laughs> <laughs> Ian Holm. Now that would have been an awesome Santa Claus. I don't think Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I know people disagree with you know, that. No, I mean. I like that it's become one. I, I mean, just like <laughs> I kind of like, like that. I just feel it's weird. Like, oh, let's watch a Christmas movie. Yeah, put on Die Hard. Like, really? Because <laughs> Christmas movie should make you. It should be like a fun, like feel good. You don't feel good after Die Hard. No, it's like you feel <laughs> good in the way that you felt good after getting a deep tissue massage. Like, <laughs> a, 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 a a Christmas movie should be feel more like a Swedish massage. Right, okay. You know? You shouldn't feel like yeah. beat up during it. You shouldn't feel like am I going to survive this? Well, my my point has always been that uh if Die Hard is a Christmas movie, then so must be Lethal Weapon because that's equally as Christmas. And that, right. that's and a, for me, that's a kind of dark one. <laughs> I would say neither should be Christmas movies because just because they take place during Christmas doesn't make them a Christmas movie. Now, People might come back and say, well, what about It's a Wonderful Life? Because there's nothing overtly Christmas about that in terms of its theming other than the time of year where mm. the, the, the climax takes place. But well, there's angels and stuff. I mean, it the whole messaging and everything, it's it, it's a, it has a very Charles Dickens Christmas Carol like. Yeah. Yeah. Theme, it really you know, does. Feel to it. And so so bah humbug to those of you who think that it shouldn't be. Yeah. Christmas movie, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing. I mean, again, aside from the fact that it happens to be taking place at Christmas, oh, Christmas Carol kind of isn't. <laughs> I know what I didn't I mean, send for, you. Um, Fred Abley, yeah, buddy, friend uh, of the show, Fred Abley, friend of the show, 
Fred Abley, who does uh, GetMeCoding.com. Um, really good guy. On faculty at um, Penn State and former uh, Marine, I believe. Um, mm-hmm. He shared, I don't know if I can find it, but he shared a he shared a website that allows you to look at like the seer like basically catalogs from like, like the wish book decades. and all that yes all of that right oh, so you can go back dude. to like the wish book from 1978 or something like that oh and all the star wars characters all yes. the stuff's in there that's I'll find it awesome and send it to you because yes, i was it, i just thought of it this. because i was going to ask you the question of what because i asked i asked uh henry this the other day what like, like what is the best christmas present you ever the one you think about yeah yeah, yeah and 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 what is well, that for you? I mean, for me, it's wow. I got a couple for different reasons. The the one that you're that's more towards what you're talking about is going to be the Millennium Falcon um, from Star Wars, and it must have been seventy eight, maybe seventy nine that I got this thing because it was before Empire came out, and just there's the size of it, and just the the I was just blown away because. It, Star Wars was my life mm-hmm. after I saw it. After I saw it the first time, I would hear none of your there are other movies. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bunch of claptrap. I'm not into that. Star Wars is my thing and there shall be no other things until there's another Star Wars. And so every year was, you know, from 77 Christmas 77 on, um <laughs> one would argue until today. Um, that uh, yeah, Star Wars was a major part of that, and I remember getting the Millennium Falcon, um, and uh, uh, just being blown away by it. What about you? I think the first, well, mine was also Star Wars. I'm trying to find this catalog thing. Um, mine was also Star Wars and or Star Wars related, but it was the Death Star Tower. Oh yeah, that, it was kind of um, like a pie piece, and there was like it was. There's like, like four levels to it. Yeah, at the at the top was the gunner. Yeah, um, which wasn't actually a thing. It was like it was like the gunner, like with a thing that kind of looked like it was the thing that sh- that was the planet destroyer, um, laser thing, but not really. It was like a. Kent. I always kind of thought it was it more was. of a turbo laser kind of thing because yeah, there's a, a there is a scene in the move in the movie where you see that turret and then there's like smoke coming out of it yeah, during that true. final that's battle true. and i think it was that, um but yeah and then there was then the there swing was, to freedom level yeah yeah with right. the retractable actually bridge. no i'm sorry above that no 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 above that was the well, level was, that had the like where obi-wan like command goes out. level kind of yeah thing. and he goes out and like yeah and because like, the, like, that thing? The, um, the the force field thing you know that everything's dependent upon that one lever Right, the, the tractor beam, and yeah. uh, and the whole yeah, thing is, beam. I don't know is I'm saying built question. on an elevator shaft, and the top of that elevator shaft is that that little yes. terminal. That you yes, can. and then there's the um, and then there's the swing to freedom mm-hmm. scene piece that I don't know whatever happened to the, I never I lost the I lost the grappling hook like immediately after. Oh I got yeah, it. yeah, me too. Um, I forget. There's another level. There's another level which then has like the trap door, where the where your action figures right. could fall the, into the trap into the trash, into compactor. The trash compactor, which that was, was weirdly this orange, removable <laughs> orange thing that held. And there like, was a Dianoga that you could put in there, the little the little monster from there. There Remember was that? right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't know whatever happened to him either. Um, and and all the and there was like foam, like like torn pieces of foam that and went it in. Always looked like the food from the original <laughs> series of Star Trek. <laughs> Whenever they made up from the, they have the plate of food that would come out of the replicator, <laughs> it was just like multicolored yeah, bits, like, and yes. it looked exactly like this this uh, and, the little foam bits that go. And in then the you trash could like compactor. crank the thing and actually smush. You smush them up, yeah. You smush them up real good. And there was a little, little door that they could get out of if yeah. you just if you decided to be magnanimous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, what's that? Sorry, oh no, me. Well, you got, no, uh, no, we got no idea. Turn on the trash compactor. Oh, oh, okay. yeah. oh it's already on. I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. The, I had that thing, and uh, yeah, I loved it. Loved it. I don't know that. why it's one of my. Fa- it's like one of those things where I just. When I think back to Christmas, when you like, if you th- yeah. if you say the word like Christmas gifts or toys or like, like that is the thing. That's the one that comes into 
Yeah. That's, the one. That's what, like me and the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, I, same thing. I don't know why. I mean, I got a lot of Star I Wars got stuff. Other stuff. I also like the big, yeah. the big tall dolls. The, the, um, yeah, Action. I got those too. The eight inches or whatever. No, they're bigger. I don't remember how bigger than eight tall inches. they were, they but they were like, like the the GI Joe guys. Giant. Yeah, yeah, like Darth Vader was guns. giant, and he was at yeah, least a had foot a high. And I had a Luke, a Leia, and a Vader. Yeah, I don't think I ever had a Leia. I don't think my mom I, um, would let me have a Leia. I think she knew what I'd do. I, I wanted to. Uh, Leia um, would have no clothes left <laughs> at all, and 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 this was before well, we knew Luke and Leia were, Leia were brother and sister, because you can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> What's gonna be happening? Well, <laughs> this took a not... really weird turn. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen? I was just going to talk seen, about how I didn't have a Han Solo. Have you seen Star Wars and you seen Caligula? <laughs> <laughs> let's just say I was mostly Caligula I, like, I mean, Baca. Let's, let's be let's be honest here. Like most of the time when I was playing Star Wars with like action figure stuff. I wasn't really doing anything Star Wars related. They were always carrying out. They were like they're participating in scenes from completely different types of storylines okay. or situations. Whether it was like defusing a bomb that a terrorist had set, or oh yeah, yeah. you know, because um, I mean, as a kid, mountain or continuity isn't a really big maybe, priority. When maybe you're a starring kid. in an NC-17 rated <laughs> yes. Skinamax kind of flick. <laughs> Roadblock. This is why I lost the guns early. I think it was it was much more of a love fest than it was a fight. I mean, I, well, I mean, you know, make love, not war. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. I don't know how I lost all the lightsabers either. Like I guess because they would come out of the arms. Yeah, yeah. I would always take them out because it it, why? it was. Why um, did I take them out? I think that's. Well, that's I took I them out because it kind of cheesed me off that that there the little they thing would was be, sticking out of their hand all the time. Right, and it's like <laughs> what. <laughs> No, Look, he's excited. Right. And then, like, why is Luke's <laughs> always yellow? What the heck is that about? It Luke's matched his hair. Blue. Everybody knows that. It matched his hair. Well, they fixed it. Here's the thing: in in when they came out with the Empire Strikes Back uh, action figures, they got rid of the lightsaber in yeah, the they arm gave trick. Something that they could hand. Or they could and they hold. gave you the little things that they could drop. Which that mean that that got lost even well, faster. It was that's gone. True. Gone. I probably swallowed it. <laughs> Well, that's one like, of the weird things. I'm sure, about, I was like chewing on it. Like I chew on a pen and <laughs> gone. You chew on a lightsaber, um, but uh, yeah, one of the weird things about the lightsabers from the uh, the New Hope action figures was they had the like the the blade of the lightsaber, but then there was like this little tiny extension off of that that almost immediately broke off because <laughs> it was like it was like a millimeter wide. <laughs> And it would be like all, and, and it came like slightly bent to the side. I mean, so it's going to already look like you have bent your lightsaber blade and your lightsaber blade tapers suddenly drastically to a very, very thin line. And it's like, what what, what are we trying to accomplish with this? <laughs> this isn't anything I saw in the movie. I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, I found it. You found what? <laughs> Which one? I found the catalog thing. I'm going to send it to oh, you. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I need to see that. Um, it is called... Here, I'm gonna, let me go into the here. I'm going to go into the here and, the, and then into the here and then put it here. That's that's the good. That's it's, a good way to do that. It's um, Christmas, Christmas.musetechnical. So Christmas.muse... Oh technical.com we'll we'll put a link on the site <laughs> yeah that'd be good <laughs> on the and Facebook page. and it's got i mean it goes all the way to 19 back to 1940 oh that's interesting and you can pull up and Here's i think i found i found the one figures. i think it was 1978 uh i don't know whether it was the jc penny the montgomery ward or the sears christmas book but that's the year it had that's the year I think I found the um, the uh, Star Wars Tower, the Death Star Tower. Oh, yeah, the other yeah, it did seem like it was a little later. The other thing that's interesting is some of the is some of the clothing for sale in these catalogs. Oh yeah, <laughs> like I bet things you wouldn't expect. 
I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. I'm really, you can, I don't feel like I can properly describe so, it without receiving some sort of... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Content warning. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, you got the sort of pinnacle thing that you think about Star Wars related that uh, that you think about when you talk about Christmas. Did you ever... Did you... What was, like, the weirdest Star Wars related gift that you received? The weirdest Star Wars related gift? Yeah. The one where you're like, no, this is interesting. What made you think... <laughs> Oh, I was going to be into this. I, I, I think I don't know if I still have it or not. Um, I probably do. It was a, a Star Wars beer stein. <laughs> like when when did you get this? <laughs> I was an in adult. The 70s? Like, no, so I was like, oh, oh okay. I was thinking it's an adult. They gave it to me. Like, I don't, I don't even like <laughs> beer really. Like, thanks, kinda, Grandma. Like, why? Can I have some chocolate milk. Here's the Star Wars beer stein. Like, what am I? And and and, and yeah. handles. The handle shaped like a lightsaber, you know, like a lightsaber, oh, um, yeah. not, you know, like uh, the hilt. The hilt. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and it's a little strange. Um, I got this weird thing that I didn't even know existed. It was called the droid factory. You mean like Galaxy's Edge? The... No, it, it was, um, there were action figures sized droids and, the, and you just got a bunch of pieces and you got the it was actually pretty brilliant they legos? Now marcus were they legos they weren't that's the thing <laughs> there, there there were no themed legos you know with ip out there now there were space themed legos but not mm-hmm. star wars but um but yeah you, it was this um this kind of weird thing with a crane and it was just a flat deal and there was a ramp on one side and then the inside had these little sort of divots where you placed all of these parts and they were all droid parts and it was actually pretty brilliant once I you know if I think back on it because they all had little like little holes where you would where the joints would be Mm -hmm. and then you had these little pegs that were kind of rubber and they were I don't know maybe half a centimeter long with a little ridge in the middle so that you could put them halfway into like the arm and then the other half into the body of the droid. These were Star Wars themed? And this was a Star Wars thing, yeah. And you could make astromechs. There were like a bunch of different astromech heads and bodies. And then there were like sort of humanic form type robots like C-3PO or the, the medical robot or whatever. And there were all these pieces and arms and torsos and heads and, and things. And you could you could assemble these wow. different uh, droids. And, and when I think, when I, at the time, I was like, I was kind of hoping for an A-wing, but <laughs> <laughs> but when I think back, it is really a pretty cool little playset. Oh God! What did I um? There was... I, would, I didn't say that back then. That was one no, of the things. That, no, as a kid, I was very conscious of not making people feel bad if you know if I was disappointed in a gift or what I was like oh yeah well then there was like the stuff it. that seemed like like at first at first glance like oh this will be cool um because it's Star Wars themed like mm-hmm. those little the little books where you would um you would they were like stickers but not stickers you would you would have to like run a pencil over them uh like scratch a pencil over the sticker and then that would and then you pull the you pull it back you pull the plastic back and the oh the yeah thing was the, the, sort of the, a transfer kind of thing yeah the thing was transferred onto the paper and so you would be, put stuff into a story there was like star wars little star wars books like that mm-hmm. that i had that did it's like that scene really interesting you get that as a gift you're like oh this is really cool blah, blah, and then you do it and you're and like you okay, like no. two of them and then you're kind of like and, like, and, then, like, and, like, and, like, and, and then sometimes they like peeled half off you're like son of a biscuit like I yeah can't, yeah no it's ruined the land speeders cut in half. What am I going to do? You know, like yeah. that sort of thing would happen. Or, um, there were color forms. Yeah. Color forms were fun. Yeah. Those are pretty cool. Um, I had a magic color form thing that was kind of cool. Oh, that's awesome. And, yeah. I don't, re- I don't remember. I had exactly. a lot of, I had pretty much anything that was space related. My parents got for me. That was um, a space nut. I, I, I feel like there might have been like a Star Wars related Play Doh thing. Oh, I'm sure there was. Like, like a, like you know, like before. This probably would have been right, before. Yeah, before Han you. Solo was actually frozen in carbonite, there was like a carbonite-like <laughs> thing that happened to all. Um, 
But I also remember, so this is not Star Wars related, but I remember from when I was really young, there were these, uh, I think it was, re- I think they had, they were monsters. So we had Dracula and Frankenstein, oh, okay. maybe. Universal um, monsters. And they were, they were like plaster kits that you, cre- you, you would pour the plaster in and then maybe... I don't know if you baked it oh, or what you did, but then it would and it would form, and then you'd you'd peel the pulled thing away, and you'd have like the form of Dracula, and then you'd you'd paint him. It had like a little painting thing, and you would paint. Oh, that's him. cool. Yeah, it was cool. And so you had to paint it, and it never looked like it was supposed to look. You're like, Ugh. Mm. um. So those were fun. I remember and somebody in my family getting a uh, a a thing where it, and along those lines, but you. Um, it almost looked like a, one of those popcorn machines that has the that you get at the movies, where it's got the little pot that's suspended. But instead of popcorn, you, you put these pellets in there, and they were kind of wax, mm-hmm. and they would melt. And then you turned the thing, and it would go down this little thing, and then it would go into a form, and it would be cars. You put the the axles and the wheels in these oh. two slots, and then the 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 form would be some like a. Uh, race car or uh, Indy car yeah. or something like that. I feel like that's, it would fill up. I don't think I own that, but I feel like I've seen that. Yeah, it wasn't mine. Like I didn't get it for Christmas. Like I remember cool somebody, like one of my cousins, maybe or one of my stupid um, cousin, uh, maybe a friend of mine. But I remember it being there when I woke up, so it had to have been a family member. Um, but yeah, you know what I, I hated? Remember that. What the did you stupid hate? race tracks. Oh, you didn't like those? Look at that I stupid. enjoyed them. I could. It, the the thing was always like you always got this. Oh, too the electric one. The electric ones. What are you talking uh, okay. about? Okay, I'm thinking about the like the Matchbox cars ones where it's got the the launcher. Yeah, and they're it, fine. And it, yeah, those are stupid know. too. <laughs> but like the the like the no the electric ones where they had like they had the little needle like yeah. the, almost like a record player slot needle. cars. Yeah. And, like is that what they were called? Slot cars. Mm-hmm. Okay, whatever. Um, and he's like, it sits, it sits down there in the track, and then and you'd have the handle, like, and it had that made that scrunchy sound, like, mm-hmm. like springy sound to it, like an old spring. Um, yeah. And you couldn't, it always flew off the track at the corners. You could never yeah, the, get supposedly the brother, slot. My is brother could get like, he that, could, but. yeah, he could like finesse it enough, to, like he, you know, and but he was also five years older than I was, but so right, like, yeah. so he's he's got the slot car. Like, this is ridiculous. Touch. So when so so fast forward really fast forward to when my kids this would have been 2014 so ish so this would have been six mm-hmm. years ago so Alex would have been 13 and Henry oh boy yeah oh yeah Alex would have been 13 and Henry would have been nine yeah so anyway maybe younger than math going on right now well, I'm just trying to think if I have the year right. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I think he it's was fine nine. if you don't. Anyway, it's <laughs> it's, they got these these um what were they call like a uh, Anka Anki Drive thing. Have you ever seen that? Like it's this Anki Drive. Anki Ank A N K E Anki Drive or something like that. And, and it's oh, this big no, piece of plastic, like thick plastic that rolled out, and it was there was just it was this track. It's like printed on, but it had it had like electronics, I guess, with like sensors within the the mat, and then it came with these cars. Like, like you know, race car oh, things. You sit I down on the these. mat, and then you would use an and app on your it. phone or on your iPad or something to drive it. Yeah, and, yeah, I remember these. And it would like you know stay on the track. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have this video of poor Henry trying to like he had an iPad, he had like an old school iPad, and he's trying. And Alex is like zooming around, she's like no problem yeah, on the track because like, yeah. he's, he's using a phone. And Henry's got this big ass iPad, and he's like trying to. And it, it can't get it like you can't turn it Aww. fast enough, and the thing's coming up. And it totally, when I saw this video, it totally reminded me of me when I was little trying to do the stupid slot car thing. <laughs> yes, I felt instantly bad. Like, oh, <laughs> I feel you, man. I've been yeah, there. Poor kid didn't have the right tool. Um, yeah, you need, you need the right tool. And 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 uh, I also did this thing with my Matchbox cars. That's what we called them. We didn't call them Hot Wheels. We had Matchbox cars. Um, yeah, that was kind of the Mac PC thing of, of the seventies. What did you did you use Hot Wheels or did you have Matchbox? I cars? don't know that I ever had a preference. Okay. It was just like if it was people. a cool car, I, I grabbed it. <laughs> um, wait, I did this thing. I think my, you know, my brother I had the Kojak car. What a weird car for a kid to have. 
That is weird. What is that? What is the? What does that even look like? It's a it sort of a copper colored uh, sedan, and it had oh, yeah. the it had the red uh, light the that you, light you, on ha- top. you you stick out your hand yeah, out we, the window and put it on top. Yeah, it didn't come off this one. I mean, no, this no, it was permanently. But yeah, I had that. Kojak well, was was after the bad guys it. permanently. Yeah. Um, but we used to do this trail of cars thing, and I don't know why it was so. Int- I, it's one of the it was one of the best activities of my childhood. Like, so we would my brothers we had so many of these matchbox cars. We would he would dump them all out, and then we would do this like like selection process where he would pick one and I would pick one and he would pick one and I would pick one. Right, and it's kind of like you go through until you get all the cars divvied up, mm-hmm. and then he would take his cars and line them all up. Of course, starting with like his favorite one in the front, probably, and then it's like a parade. It's like a parade of vehicles, right? And then, and then I would line mine up behind his. It's fascinating. It's riveting. It's riveting. <laughs> and then, and then here, get ready for it. You ready for it? What I'm ready. Do? Okay. What, what would happen? He would then move his vehicle, his first vehicle, basically arm's length mm-hmm. forward, right? And then proceed to move the next one <laughs> behind it until yeah. he had moved all of his vehicles. And then and I would then proceed to move mine in the oh, same fashion. That's clever. He would then go to the first one and then do and this would continue on throughout the house, <laughs> like throughout the entire house. <laughs> and how long would this take? I don't remember how it ended. Like, I don't know if we just got bored. Or what? Or if you decided this was our destination and we have arrived, dude, we spent hours doing this. Like it's 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 just the best slowly invention. moving cars around the house. It's I have no In idea how it held my interest Order as like preference. as ADHD as I am. Like I have no idea how it possibly. Sometimes, man, you'll like, get that thing. Like and, uh, and, and I keep like thinking, like telling you about it right now. It's instantly <laughs> soothing. Like I really like. I would give so much right now to like have a bucket full of or box full of matchbox cars and just like do and nothing but drive these things slowly drive them in a line around the house. It's <laughs> mind numbingly simple, and I think that's yeah. the whole point of it. It's like just you're you're doing this one thing, and maybe that's it. Maybe it's like there, sure there's your story. first experience you know, like with me, Zen. I had a story, you know, in like what oh, the yeah. cars were doing and why they were doing it, and and stuff but um i don't know why like a friend of mine um steve and i uh we both had an armatron which was a thing you got from radio shack that was a a robotic arm and you had these two little joysticks and and it would it would be like there would be a uh an elbow like a thing halfway down that that would tilt you know, back and forth mm-hmm. laterally. The thing itself would, would, you know, tilt up and down and pan left to right, camera terms. And then there was a wrist and it would twist on the wrist axis and then it would open and close the little, oh, okay, the little, uh, yeah. grabby thing, right? And you had the two, the claw, two, uh, joysticks on there to, to move that. And we would take our matchbox cars and we would, <laughs> speaking of this whole story that you had, we would do the same thing and we would we would basically tell the story of why this 100 car pileup happened <laughs> <laughs> and then this guy came over here and he's like ah, you know and we would create this pile this strategically planned out and well documented through quality storytelling pile of cars <laughs> Each one of them with their own story and own motive and reason why they're there. That's and we brilliant. would use our, like, the the Armatron things um, were special vehicles that would come out and sort out the crash. The mess. Yeah, and like- so we would take, you know, <laughs> you know, and <laughs> take the car, you know, one car off and it would, we would set it up right and like line them up. You know, and just slowly dismantle this pile of cars. And like you said, it's a very simple thing that you would think you would get bored with pretty quick. 
but for whatever reason, mm -hmm. we we used every single Matchbox card that he and I both had combined together, and <laughs> took them out one by one See? and lined them up with this See, I'm not robotic so arms. I mean, no, we're, no, we're, there's, we're I guess it's weird. You're whatever probably. kids, whatever is in a kid's head that, <laughs> that for whatever reason he can glom onto a thing that completely absorbs <laughs> him. What about those little Fisher Price things? Oh, that that uh, like the fit in little slots or whatever, the little yeah. dudes. Yeah, the little dudes. Yeah, I had those guys. Yeah, there was one, and I just saw. I never it had the... weeble wobbles. Everybody talks about the weeble no. wobbles, the yeah, wobbling we and we not falling about that down. Episode, but I don't. Whatever that was, I don't think I ever had those. Um. There was this. There's one I remember. I'm like I'm looking at it in this catalog from 1978. And if you're wondering, it's the Sears Wish book or the Sears Wish cat, whatever. Um, 1978 Sears Christmas book, page 537. Oh. Um, it's got this boat. Big. It's got the boat, and I can I. I mean I'm, I am looking at this and feeling it, and immediately remembering the last story I played with in the stupid boat. Like right. I, there's it a, was like totally Gilligan's Island. The memory thing going is in on. your DNA. You oh my. <laughs> There's this, there's a captain, there's a skipper, there's a guy who played Gilligan. There's like that can I can I'm putting it all together. It never was the intention of this set, but that became Gilligan's. No, book, of course sure. it did. Um, yeah, it, I just love it. I mean, this is a great. I could I could lose hours, hours and hours, and hours in this catalog. Here's something that just flashed into my head. <gasps> Among your Star Wars characters. <gasps> There's a Winnie the, the Pooh Weeble Wobble thing. I remember Winnie this. Winnie the Pooh Weeble Yes. Win Winnie the Pooh. <gasps> there was a magic. I had this. I had this. <laughs> I had this is great for a non-visual medium. I had this. Well, we, <laughs> we have the YouTube thing. Um, okay. There was all my... <laughs> this so, is one so. of my favorite things. How did I forget about this existing? What is it? There was a Magic Kingdom Weeble Wobble thing. Or was a Weeble Oh, really? Or was it? Or maybe it was Fisher Price. See, that was before I, I originally went Kingdom. to. And it, oh my God! To Disney. So oh my God! I got to find this on eBay. Me. 1978 Sears Christmas book, page 531. This is like Magic Kingdom, and it opened up, and you could fold it closed, and it had like uh -huh. it had the turrets, and it had and it had like this slide thing that was like a roller coaster that went around the castle, which never existed in real life, of course, but like yeah. it did in this, <laughs> and. It had like a little, it had like the, the, um, Dumbo ride at the top of the castle. Oh yeah. Where, where is, where it usually is. Yeah. Oh, so much fun. <laughs> How did I ever forget about this? How did I forget? It? I just really totally cool. out of my mind. Like, like my memory, like. Well, how, it's back. How did, how did anyone even <laughs> let me get rid of this? Like. How did, did they not know about dude, the rampant collectorism? This, this will be mine. This, this, yeah, gonna, it's going to show up. I was about to say, we're gonna, this, there's some this space on this thing back this there. This bad boy, it, it, this will be mine. It's sitting out there somewhere. <laughs> I I know it will be mine. Um, there was even a whole Christopher Robin place that I didn't know existed, but I am so tearing this page out. And uh, by tearing, I mean doing a big screenshot. I was about to say. I'm putting, that's going to kind of hurt I, your monitor. I, I may need an intervention. It's sounding like it. It's... I feel I, I feel like I'm about to spend a lot of money on stuff that I don't. <laughs> well, I hope that whoever's selling it doesn't hear this, so they don't. They're like, this guy really wants this. I'm jacking yeah, the price if we up. Could just, if we could just hold off on publishing this until I secure <laughs> these things, that'd be great. Um, wow. So you you just nostalgia all over yourself over there. So here's the thing. Um, talk about things coming full circle. If if someone was to give you a gift, mm -hmm. well, uh, let's pick. Well, let's pick two things. Let's pick the thing that you um, wish you still had, like the toy you had as a child hmm. that you, as an adult, wish you still had. Right? Okay. There's that. Okay. And then also the thing that you always wish you had, but you never got. But that I never got. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Now, the wish you still had is that just for sentimental reasons that you Whatever, wish you still dude. had it, or is like, it like, boy, well, you could get a lot of money on? Oh no, on you're not going to like turn around and sell it. Yeah. Okay. No. You, the, I I wouldn't think so. I just no, want to make sure. I'm not heartless. Hmm. The thing that I wish that I still had. 
That that Millennium Falcon is pretty up there. Um, uh, you but, know, I still uh, have a mil- I still have a Millennium Falcon. It doesn't. It's not. It's a bit. In, it's in disre- disrepair. But yeah, see, that's the problem. I mean, I even if a, I still had it, it would probably be. I don't think I have a lid for it. Shape. Like I have a space. I have a space nineteen ninety nine ship also. Ooh, an eagle. Mm-hmm. And it has yeah. the front and the tail thing, but it doesn't. But it's missing like the side panels that close it in. Oh uh, right, and it's yeah. It's missing like the thing. Yeah. 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 Um, I like that, that show was. Because when you're a kid and they don't put Star Wars on the TV, mm-hmm. <laughs> you got to take what you can get. And space 1999 was, I was like, all right, I'll take it. It's space. <laughs> it's space. I don't check care. The Spaceship. <laughs> yeah, check. And I made, the, I made the uh, the the um, stars check. <laughs> yeah. Well, what was it? The um, the really just uh, unfortunate decision of going ah. There's a Nova about aliens. I'll watch that <laughs> because it's space. And then I watch it and it's the grays. It's like the like alien invasion and abductions and stuff and freaked me the hell out. <laughs> I, mean, I, was, I couldn't was like sleep by myself Leonard, for like. series with Leonard Nimoy called In Search Of? Remember in that? In Search Of, yeah. yeah. That was pretty good too. That was also freaky. Man, that, that would I, You're gonna be that abducted. traumatize me. <laughs> was that but, before uh, you saw Close Encounters? Oh, way, way. I was scared to death of Close Encounters. I didn't watch that for <laughs> years. Man, E.T. freaked me out when I was a kid. Really? Yes, that little crazy looking little raisin dude. No way. Really? I did not want anything That's to do with That's when I fell in love with Reese's Pieces. And especially the when he's all gray and the the guys in the spacesuits come in yeah, and well, scare he's the dying. crap out of everybody. He's dying. Yeah, no, I was like, good, get out of here. Spoiler alert. But uh, he doesn't die though. Um, no. Other spoiler alert. But yeah, the <laughs> the the toy that I would still like to have around. I guess you know. I don't know. It's it's hard to say because because I worry that anything that I pick would have gone through that same sort of uh, decay process mm-hmm. of being extremely mm-hmm. old, and that would make me really sad, you know, to see it in that regard. If I could get it like mint condition, oh, you, know, you wouldn't even, want the original thing, like the thing that you. Well, we don't even know what it is. Well, I mean, the, the thing that I did Falcon? have Are we about the. Yeah, I don't want like an, another copy of it, you know, or you know, I don't want to go on eBay and get it, but the. Um, but if I had the original, um, like your original, not right, right. But like still in the condition that it was at its peak, I suppose. Because again, you know, if it's all run down, it, that'll be kind of depressing and sad, and just a, well. But a if sort it's of used, reminder you, of my own mortality. It's like, <laughs> yeah, but there's something to be said with like toys that are like run down, but they're run down by you. Like you wore them. Yeah, down. I like, so. like that's. Yeah. I think that's okay. That's different, right? I think. I think the thing that I. The, I think it was Michael Stipe that in in a uh, in a some effort to to reduce pollution or whatever talked about how when you throw away something, where is away? You know, everything you've ever owned is somewhere right mm-hmm. now. Oh, um, it doesn't oh, just. I don't like thinking about see, that. See exactly, Why did exactly. You say that? Why did you say that? What's wrong with you? Why would you say that? I know, right? Why I'm bringing somebody that? down with me, man. <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah yeah Aww. so you know welcome to what i because again i think i've talked about this oh i don't like to think about when, these things it took me when like toy years story came out i was like, like yeah what's wrong with you <laughs> i knew it you know but um but yeah so the the thing i think about the most when i when i think about that kind of thing is this little stuffed moon that i had when i was a kid and it was at like a crescent moon, and so it was flat, you know. And he was he was uh, presumably yellow. He was a a shade of khaki by the time you know. I probably the last time I saw him, um, and and he was I like think a there was a ET. face. <laughs> it kind of looked like it was about ET colored by the time uh, by the time the, you know last time I saw it, but um, and it, there was a music box inside of it, but that had long since you know lost its function, and the pulley string was pulled out and frozen out you know mm. it, was, it was extended uh the whole thing and but that was like i had seven billion stuffed animals when i was a kid but moon 
and that was indeed his name, um, was I needed Moon. That was Moon was my thing. Wow. I, I, this is who I sleep with. And, and then, you know, it, it was perfectly fit in your hand because it was kind of flat mm-hmm. and uh, and uh, sort of book, almost like a book. But it was more crescent moony shape. But it's about the size of a paperback. Um, and uh, I that when I think about the whole, it's all out there somewhere. Um, oh, that's God. moon is you is just is what crushed I, me. And I almost said oh, just now, God. moon is who I think about. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, and I feel, I feel like we just go. we just got our cover art for. Hey, well. And maybe so. Maybe they're at. Maybe he's out there with my weeble wobble somewhere. Could be. They're hanging out, playing. They like. They like each other. They're. You know. Mm. That's how it goes. Unless Moon's in a drain somewhere. I doubt it, though. No. Because that's pretty sure that's where my weeble wobble is somewhere in oh. Rosedale. In a drain. Yeah. Right. I mean, like, where's he gonna go? No, he's not gonna fall down. That's for sure. <laughs> Oh my God! I don't um, I don't think you told me the thing that you w- wish you had but you never got. Oh right, yeah. I think that the uh, my the first the first thing that came to mind when you asked that was the um, the GI Joe aircraft carrier. Oh uh-huh. wow! Um, and because that and then my cousin had that and I was like, wow, that's a pretty awesome thing. Um. But I, I, what else? I think that's really it. My, um, I, I never really, like, mom was pretty good about taking the wish list kind of seriously. And, and I was also good about not asking for crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, I was like, I want a pony or, or whatever, you know. I, My I never, <laughs> this t- <laughs> Like it fits in the palm of your hand, but um, I think that uh, when we were talking about things that we got for Christmas, that one of the things that um, blew me away um, that my mom got me was a Game Boy. Mm. Um, I think something in my head said Game Boys. That's going to be something that kids in big cities are going to get. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing doesn't isn't going to come here. <laughs> In Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, I don't know why that was in my head. <laughs> it was like I, I live in a backwoods. That you know, we're doing good to have the Beatles. What year was it? Wait, when did Game Boy come out? Ah, it was eighty four or five. Okay, you weren't you weren't Something exactly like that, maybe? little kid. Not really, no. But I mean, it was still that, I mean, and maybe that's part of it, right? I was coming into a sort of a social awakening and understanding of other people and society and all that junk and just realizing just how I don't know not exactly uninteresting but not hip mm-hmm. I suppose mm-hmm. Little Rock Arkansas was and so uh, you know it was this kind of like the Nintendo Entertainment System you know the NES the original NES that was also one th- thing that was, I was like I'm just gonna have to hear about people playing that because oh. I don't see Aww. us ever getting really? those um, yeah, I don't know things. why I thought that necessarily because it's kind of stupid, but oh, it was one of those things. And when I got it, that that was one that really blew my mind too because playing like Super Mario Brothers, I was like, this is exactly like the arcade. How is this possible? Right, right. <laughs> you know, because I grew up with the Atari and the yeah. Atari Pac Man. <laughs> it's not exactly the same, man. It isn't remotely the same. <laughs> you get this this honking duck that. <laughs> That's <laughs> going Not around. Not a carpenter duck. Not a carpenter duck, just a eaten duck that, that goes around. And it doesn't even look remote. I mean, even the little thing, the whatever, the tunnel that goes from one side to the other is in the ceiling, in the floor. It's not in the mm, sides. Like, true. how is how did you not put the tunnel in the right place? <laughs> I've never even thought like, about It's like, that. we must do this incorrectly. I mean, Pac-Man was terrible. And so, you know, when this other thing is game system, hey, it's going to be just like the arcade. It's like, yeah, I've heard that one before, pal. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it. Hey, the honking duck. Yeah. 
That's not Pac-Man. That's Honking Duck. That's Honk Duck. (laughs) 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 But uh, (laughs) that's that's another word for goose is Honking Duck. But um, yeah, when it came out and I was playing Mario and I was like, it's like my whole worldview was (laughs) like freaked out because the arcade is now in my living room. How is this possible? And I played so much Super Mario Brothers. I was like obsessed. Yeah, yeah. I feel I'm like I can't get Moon off my mind. Oh, yeah. I don't even know what he really looks like, but uh, I I wish I had a picture. How did you of, How did you uh, let him go? How did I let him go? What happened? <laughs> Did you release him I don't in, a, know. in a stiff breeze or something? He, you, I may, he may still be somewhere. You hold him out My the window, like one of those things where you hold him out the window, like, like, oh, feel the breeze. No, moon. no, no, like, no, no. Oh, that, no. That's oh, that's God. not a risk I would have taken okay. with Moon. <laughs> <laughs> moon had protected status. <laughs> but um, but uh, I seriously, my grandmother is a well. I, I'm not going to call her a hoarder. Let's call her an archivist. <laughs> okay. Because she has kept like everything that either I or my sister touched mm. and looked at and might Except have made us scratch. Well, see, that's my point is that he may be in something that she's oh. got like a box somewhere. Oh. Um, oh, I don't know if, if he's there or not. Oh. But, um, but there is a good chance that he's in there somewhere. See, so I feel I, I like know. that would be a wonderful show. But her garage is like that that warehouse at the end of Raiders. <laughs> that would be a wonderful show, like to go, to like to to go to someone's garage or attic, like their either their parents, their grandparents, or even their own basement or whatever, like and find like pull out the box of toys. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that and, would be and, cool. And and we're just gonna open these boxes up and and talk about the things like in each thing, the stories that go along with them, and. You know, the places that they remind, like all those, all the, because mm-hmm. a million memories come rushing back just when you uncover one thing that you haven't seen in so long, right? Yeah. Um, like, wouldn't that be fun? It's kind of like that. that would be great. It's kind of like that, that show on, uh, the antiquing kind of show on, you know, public access or PBS or whatever, where they go around, like, oh, well, this is worth so and so and so. Well, like, you know, oh, that's you know what I'm talking about that place where they, they, they people bring their items from like they think it's Antiques like, Roadshow? That's it. That's, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's I like, thought you were talking just It's like sure. it's like a it's like a real person version of that. Don't you hate like, it when the guy comes in and he's got this thing that he thinks is like amazing and they're like, uh, oh, sorry dude, it's worth like a nickel and a half. <gasps> oh, this I can't I don't know if I can oh, tell I this those. story or not. Oh. I, <laughs> well, you kind of screwed up then because I mean, you're, well, okay, you're the, committed. So my mother got so excited. I mean, like so over the top excited about something she found mm-hmm. that apparently my grandfather had given to her. But anyway, and it's this, I mean, I mean, so excited. Like she, she wasn't even going to tell me about it until like she really got it like valued and everything. Mm-hmm. And, and, and it's like this, Turns out it's this dime. Yeah. That's like in a, you know, it's like encased in plastic and it's from 19, I don't know, 18, 16, something like that anyway. Mm -hmm. And she's convinced, I don't know what she read on the intertubes, but she's convinced (laughs) that it's worth like $60,000 or something crazy. Yeah. I'm like, that's a heck of a dime. (laughs) It was a dime of something. Like, I was like, what (laughs) is, so I'm, I mean, she's like that's more like a key and I'm like okay mom this, this it and this is this is how i am like it's probably not worth what you think it is it's, yeah Ten like, cents. you work. know i'm just saying <laughs> um so don't spend the money that you don't right. have you know that you're <laughs> right? so I'm taking your loans out or anything yeah right um so I, you know, I do some, some just like quick searching on some legit sites for like valuing like places that trade coins and so forth. And um, there are some like there are definitely uh, some of these dimes that are either in mint condition or maybe circulated, but in very good condition still um, mm-hmm. that are worth 
in the thousands of dollars. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. Apparently. This would not be one of this them. This one on the other hand. No, I mean, this is like <laughs> probably based on like what I'm seeing in terms of like how they're describing how it gets devalued based on, hmm. you know, how worn it is and how many of the features are still visible and raised lettering and the ridges and so forth. Um, it's probably worth like, I don't know, seven bucks, mm-hmm. which look is a lot for a dime. Yeah, that's a lot of return on that. But it's not sixteen thousand dollars. No, not really. I mean, like, so there's stuff like that. Like, but I'm not talking about a show that would do that sort of thing. I'm talking about a show. Yeah, where you yeah would, it's your stuff. Yeah, you go and you unbox the you unbox the toys, and we and we sit there. That would be really cool. Yeah, grown okay. men and women like <laughs> talking about toys, like toy toy time machine or something. I mean, so much fun, right? You, yeah, like, yeah. I'm down for that. We should do that. We should we should get a box of your toys. Just <laughs> dig through them. Dig through them. I still have a buttload of my Legos. Oh yeah. I know I do. I know I have those. Yeah. But, yeah, like uh, a lot of Legos, a lot of um. Yeah, I mean, I got stuff in the garage. We could legit do this for with our probably just with our stuff. Like, just pull stuff <laughs> off the shelf. Like, let's see what we got. Because it's all now intermingled with my kids' stuff and like. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of intermingled um, and Star Wars figures and toys and things, did you did you have among your Star Wars figures that figure that was from something other than Star Wars? Oh yeah, of course. What what kind of what kind of figures? I mean, Buck Rogers for one. You had some Buck Rogers figures. Oh yeah, and oh, especially no, like that's cool. Yeah, Buck Rogers would be in Battlestar Galactica, the Cylon for sure. Now I had an um, appearance. Now the weird thing about the Battlestar Galactica stuff that I had, I don't remember if there were like, I, you know, if I don't, I didn't have any of the action figures that were like Star Wars sized. Oh, my stuff was all like the Viper and the, a couple other weird play sets. There was this one very strange like vehicle that had a a long like you could put a Viper nose on it, and it was another kind of one of these modular things. You could like take the because all of them the the sort of fuselage of the viper would come off and then you'd mm. have the thrusters and the the wings and then you could put some other stuff on them but anyway point is is that um they were a scale that the uh the pilot was like maybe an inch a little oh yeah little, i remember those yeah and you could tall. stick them in the little yeah in the cockpits right and then mm-hmm. these are the ones that had the little red they're like die cast metal um well they, they were the ones that I had were were plastic. Now I oh. you know we there, I did have some Star Trek ones that were die cast, um, but these had a little red sort of torpedo thing that was spring loaded, that would shoot out of the front of the Viper. Shoot your eye out. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Actually, they got recalled because some kid shot one down his throat, and I think he died. Oh God! And they ended up having to produce these toys where the. And it was like instead of removing the thing entirely, because I mean that's not where things came out of the Viper anyway, is out of the friggin' nose of the thing. <laughs> instead of removing that, what they did It's the most I don't know, it's like the most bizarre way of doing this. Is the thing was still in there, the red torpedo was still stuck up in there, and you pushed the button and it went in <laughs> and like shot forward maybe three millimeters. <laughs> <laughs> you have to use your imagination to take it all the way. Yeah, right? and you're like, all right. <laughs> they should have done that with lightsabers. We'll like just we'll, we'll take come it. Out and come back. We'll take it three millimeters, and then you just kind of think it the rest of the way in. <laughs> <laughs> it was the goofiest thing I've ever seen. Even as a kid, I was like, "What? This is stupid." <laughs> and uh, it seems like I I want to say that didn't the original Boba Fett do that too? the the red thing on his backpack shoot out there's, yeah, and there was there's, the same problem with yeah, that but there, yes, or am I doing yes, one no, of those you're right it's just there and those are Mandela really super things. hard to find yeah no you're yeah because right. it was like the right away because the the first Boba Fett was like a mail order thing right is mm-hmm. that right I think I don't yeah know. You, you would know better than me yeah I, I want to say it was um and I don't I don't think I got him in that round I think I had to get wait till he was on a, you know, a blister pack or whatever to get him. But yeah, so um, but the one like I, of course I had GI Joes, but that's not what I'm talking about because that's that's 
their own thing, really. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I did have the one representative of the Star Trek universe in my in amongst my Star Wars figures was Admiral James Kirk from the beginning of Star Trek the Motion Picture. Oh my God! And so he's in that the, that, the nerd meter just went like way <laughs> the uniform that that uh, has the it's white in the center and it's sort of this uh, I don't know space utility kind of color on the outside in the pants and uh and yeah i i don't know i don't know how i got him i don't remember who gave oh, him sure to him. probably my uh, dad you asked for but, it I, mean, I know you did. um <laughs> well see that's the thing is that if i did i would have asked for all the rest of them too right or or so in a shuttle a craft or whatever else came like i don't a, even remember like that there was like star, star trek the motion picture he's at star action something. figures at all Who's at star something here? Right, this. right. And then I always felt bad for like grandparents that are like, this is just the same it's like as space. that, right? Yeah. He likes yeah. Doctor Who. No. Right. It's like I asked my mom for, for uh, Adidas and she bought me zips. I was never but, into Star Trek as a kid. I wasn't until I was oh, no? an adult. Oh, no. I was so I, Star Trek. And I thought they, they were the, there were the, like two or three kids in school who did Star Trek and like they were weird. You're like, hmm. Oh. <laughs> they were also the kids yeah, that who was had me. like they're also the kids who had like a um uh, uh you know uh Texas instrument style computer thing. Um Oh uh, yeah. Or I didn't have kids, one of those. Kids who But had, I tell you what I did have, you know those things you get at Radio Shack that were that have the little springs all over them and they were circuit boards. Um, and you you wow. you would put in the 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 wires and you would wire from one spring to another spring and that would create different circuits and you could do different experiments and stuff. Oh, and, the tor- uh, torture devices. <laughs> kind of, yeah. The genital attachments and. But uh, somebody out there knows what I'm talking about. But there's these electric things and you got them at Radio Shack and and yeah, I totally had <laughs> those things. It's weird. Had one of those. Erector Actually, sets. weirdly enough, the kid in the Star Wars Holiday Special. Ends up getting something for Christmas that's kind of like one of those things. Really? And he ends up like assembling I, this uh, this transmitter to call for help because the Imperials are are, are grieving. They're putting this show on. Chewbacca's like, family. Come help me get out of this holiday special. <laughs> Man, that is a fever dream of a show. Well, this is probably our last episode before Christmas. It is. This was so, uh, um, because we are in the time machine. It is uh, the Tuesday before Christmas so today. I hope you have a fantastic Christmas. Absolutely, I hope you have and a fantastic safe Christmas safe travels too. and um, and I hope you get all the things that you want and then some. I already have all the things that I want. Well, then have. some extra things. So okay. extra good yeah. things. And some socks and stuff. Yeah, I need some. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. True. <laughs> I know what I'm getting you now. Oh, Lord, here we go. (laughs) All right, man. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. (laughs) 